Emily Pitts began her career at Edward Jones as a financial advisor in Atlanta. She met her husband there and even recruited him for Edward Jones. Emily performed so well in Atlanta that she was recruited for the St. Louis headquarters. Emily is now Edward Jones' diversity officer. It is most certainly a business imperative for us to have a more inclusive environment and diverse because diversity and really diversity of thought drives innovation and innovation drives better results for the organization. Millennial generation, 40 to 45 percent diverse. Uh, what a terrific opportunity if you take the time to understand uh, what those uh, folks are looking for in terms of a career opportunity and in terms of our clients, what, how they value uh, service and how they define convenience. Emily grew up in Tennessee, surrounded by a loving family, in particular her sister Rosalind and brother Donnie. Both of them have been just extremely or especially supportive of me. No matter what I did um, and where I've been, they have always been there for me and I just feel so blessed because I do understand that that's not a given. But perhaps it was the aunt who raised her who had the most impact. Aunt Clara was a teacher. She instilled a love of learning in Emily, and Emily repaid that love by establishing a scholarship in Clara's name. If I could be half of the woman that she was, I would probably be okay. And so it's just always been a passion of mine to try to make a difference in people's lives, to leave them better off than they were uh, before they met me, um, and you know, just to make a difference. We are a male-dominated industry, the financial services industry is, and she's made it a place where people appreciate uh, the whole spectrum of backgrounds. Emily's impact drew the attention of President Obama, who bestowed just one of the many honors she's received. It's not all about work, of course. Another passion of Emily's is jazz, and every year she and her husband invite two dozen friends to enjoy the Newport Jazz Festival. It seems that to know Emily, whether at work or play, is to feel special. I would love for my legacy to be that she really cared about people. She genuinely cared and did everything in her power to make a positive difference in the lives of someone else.